As anniversaries, celebrations, and holidays approach, the pressure to find the perfect gift increases. My name is Haley Kettler, and I'm here to help you find the perfect gift. Ben Perspective is a business centered on origami. From classes to custom designs to event decorations, Ben Perspective will help customers find the right gift for any occasion. Ben Perspective will show customers the simple elegance in a folded piece of paper. Ben Perspective, folding the way to a better day. <laughs> As I said, that perspective, folding the way to a better day. So Ben Perspective will include origami classes, custom designs, pre-made models, origami kits, and event decorations. The origami classes will range from $10 to $20. They'll be of beginner to advanced levels and include basic origami and modular models. When I mean modular origami, I mean things like this, this, these, and all these. Simple would be this design right here. Custom designs would range from $10 to $200, depending on the complexity. Customers would be able to choose the model, size, style, and color of the operation. So it could be something like this playing card ball here. Pre-made models would range from $1 to $40. They could be origami globes, such as these. They could be ornaments, like this one right here decorations, and more. The origami kits would vary in price depending on what the kit is for, such as the thousand cranes, as you may have heard of. It also uh, vary in model complexity and the color. The event decoration will range from $100 to $500, depending on the, um, how much it includes. It could include weddings, birthday parties, anniversaries, and anything else. It would include table setting, guest favors, hanging decorations, jewelry, and whatever else you like. So, an example, a wedding cake right here. Obviously it wouldn't be made out of paper, but <laughs> <laughs> decorations would be origami based. The competition that we have in here is Scrapping Ladies, which is a scrapbook company. And they have a few classes, but the thing that they don't reach out is, is they don't have very many pre-made items and they don't do event decorations. The other competition we have in Pierre is Pottery to Paint, which is a business where you go in, you pick out a piece of pottery and you paint it. The thing that that doesn't do is it doesn't teach you how to make the pottery. It's just you go in and paint it. And personally, I like to learn how to do things. So startup costs. There's actually two options that I could go with here. The first one is the more expensive one. It would start out with the location. Uh, the one I found in Pierre is about 1,400 square feet. It would cost $10,850 a year just for renting, with about $300 a month for utilities. The things that I would need to buy would be furniture and fixtures, tables and chairs, laptop for all of my designing, a desktop computer for checking out all of and selling all of the items, shelving and storage to house all of the, the supplies, obviously paper, because it is origami, and then other tools such as bone folders, lights, tables, uh, more compact things. This would require at least two full-time employees at minimum wage that would be $35,360 a year. So for a proposed startup total of about $59,000, that's a little out of my price range. <laughs> so the alternative startup cost would be to run this out of my house and then rent classrooms from businesses uh, such as using a conference room like this one and paying $30 to $50 per session. That would be a much cheaper alternative. I would still need to buy at least a laptop computer for designs and keeping track of all my business, supplies such as paper, tools, and then I would have a part-time employee for about $5,000. They would help out with classes. If I needed them to help make designs, I would do that as well. And that would cost about $13,000 a year, much more affordable. So the financing I would use would be a bank loan, and loans from my grandparents, and then any personal savings that I happen to have at the time that I decided to start this up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Roll <Rolo> origami <laughs> animation. <laughs> so, now are there any questions? Wow. How did you get into doing this? <clears throat> well, seventh grade, my math teacher had a little Christmas section where we made origami. And we actually made a simplified version of this, um, much more simplified than this. And we got into that as well, and that just kind of kicked me off and just started doing it all the time, so. How do you get your ideas? 
Um, a lot of these, besides like these two, um, I got through origami books. And then sometimes I get creative and make my own, but they don't always turn out because they're kind of difficult. Um, and then this one I actually made for another competition. Uh, it was a cake uh, business that we had created. And so I made cake. So, <laughs> yes. So. Would one of your markets be like a nursing home for passing the time, therapy, so, people who just don't have jobs and they just want to fill the day? And just yeah, definitely. Maintain dexterity? Yeah, yeah. So some of these require a lot more dexterity, such as this one. Okay. This piece right here uh, has 60 pieces of paper in it. Wow. Not that you'd be able to tell that from looking at it, but lots of pieces of paper. Other ones, such as these, a lot easier to fold. It's simply straight folds, and they're about half inch pieces of paper. So individuals in nursing homes would be able to do that. Ones like this, Christmas decorations, yes. Definitely, definitely a customer base there. Are you doing this now for hire or just fun? No, nope. this is just for fun. I'm not actually selling any of my pieces right now, so. How many of the designs come from the original or, or uh, more traditional Japanese origami designs versus how many are actually a more modern design? Um, you know, what I'm used to seeing in origami is like the crane you, you showed or the animal figures. I, this is kind of all new to me, but so is, it, is it a lot of this traditional design? This is more modern designs. Um, if I were to start the business, I would include traditional designs because that's what most people think of when they think of origami. Mm -hmm. But then I'd also introduce this newer, more geometric and aesthetic appeal. For so what's the time involved to do, you know, the snowflake versus the cart? So the snowflake was about 10 minutes, I'm going to say, okay. if that even. This one is not quite actually origami. What it is is it's playing cards with slices in it. So this one took a little longer because I had to figure out how to put all the pieces together. Um, so is that one of your own designs, though? Sort of. I wow. took a I took a design that I saw online and modified it a little bit. Mm. Cool. But something like this could take anywhere to 10, 12 hours to make. So this one probably took me probably took me an entire day to do, adding mm. all the time together. Spread it out over a couple of weeks to make it. But so had you thought about design software? I know you have a laptop and things like that, but would you have to have design software or pay, like if Chad designed the original playing card and then you saw it online and started selling it, would he have come back at you and say, you're selling my design, do you have to pay rights for that? Or? Um, I, it kind of depends on who you're getting the designs from. Um, a lot of the stuff online you'll see um, for personal use only. So I would have to contact the owners of that design sure. okay. to, to figure that out, but yes. Or modify slightly call you. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. 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 Your presentation was very good, so yeah. thank you very much. Yes. Yeah. Well done. And good luck because you have a, obviously have a talent. I'm not sure that well I know thumbs are a lot more patient. Yeah, yeah, I am that. Yeah, yeah the, you know, would you say 10, 15 minutes that would be an all day project and, yeah. Yeah. At the, and end, the flowers? I, I struggle with difficult people, so. or complicated or so these they, ones are actually these are actually modular pieces. Um, so it actually includes five different pieces here that you fold and then you glue together. Mm. So not your traditional origami, which is just paper. Right. So, I mean, this not too difficult. Um, a lot of the more modern origami is kind of including um, some adhesives. Not a lot, obviously, because it's still origami. This, um, some of the designs I use adhesives just so that they don't fall apart. Um, like this one I used photo stickies, if you know what that are, those are, to make sure that the pieces stay in, just so that when I'm hanging it up, it just doesn't crumble. Um, if you were to set them on a tape, like this one, you could probably play soccer with this and it would be fine. <laughs> so some of them, you know, are the traditional, sure. no adhesives in that. Hmm. So. Interesting. Yeah. Good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.